is there or not. So, um, and you know, are you kind of hanging out here, having lunch, chilling? Is it just? Uh... It's funny. I'm not a very good chiller. I'm not a very good hanger outer. Okay. I like doing stuff. <laughs> All right. But I. I... I did it because I wanted to learn how to work with stone and, and yeah. brick. And I did it all myself. All these rocks are salvaged out of the mountains or scrounged out of the mountains. So you've got the hours and hours of oh, not only sure. finding but then bringing yeah. back and, yeah. and fitting. Yeah. So and, and I'm happy doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. So so let me ask you something. You know, because I think that's another part of this is uh, making something with your hands and, and seeing a. a a product or a result versus uh, you know a lot of us are knowledge workers right we're sitting behind a computer so is that a <clears throat> like you you just reject that I can't I couldn't do that as a as a live to, you know for my livelihood oh no I'd, I'd rather be a trash man <laughs> <laughs> right so you're outside and you're doing something, something yeah something tactile right so um, uh, since we're out since we're waiting for the forge Forge, right? Glory They're, hole, actually. Oh, is it? Glory hole. Glory hole. Okay. <laughs> um, I think um, if you're okay telling us, um, uh, Joey had mentioned that there's some um, you have some interesting stories uh, when you were younger, uh, like when you were in college, for example. Is there uh, an interesting living uh, arrangement? Oh, yeah, my treehouse. <laughs> yeah, in, in college, I, I. Well, to, to go back, I, in college I, I had some medical problems and I ended up dropping out of school for a year and I was in a wheelchair. And I spent a lot of time just thinking that year and and once I finally got better, I decided, okay, it's time to do all those things that I thought that I'd never be able to do again. So yeah. I, I wasn't sure I was going to get better. So I decided, oh, I've always wanted to live in a treehouse. I, I do want to be a glass blower. I want to, you know, do all this stuff. and. Um, so yeah, I went back to college, and rather than pay for a dumb apartment, I decided to, to with my friend Matt, build this treehouse on campus. On on campus. On, on campus. They didn't they didn't know it was there though. So we we'd like pre-build sections of it and then hoist it up in the tree at like three in the morning. Anyway. So so we don't, we don't have to mention the campus, but. Um, it was, it's, it's all gone now. Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Okay. <laughs> um, but it was great. It, and we thought, oh, if it lasts like two months, like that'll be great. I ended up living there almost two years. Two years? And then like people lived there after me. That, really? Who I didn't even know. It just kind of. It became its own thing. Its own thing, yeah. And then later. And it's an Airbnb right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it was cool. It was in this, again, Coast Live Oak. It's one reason I like these trees a lot. And you could, uh, I could see over the entire town, you know, and, and hear the, the, the bells of the, you know, the school, you know, the ding, 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 ding. Anyway, it's an interesting two years. And my goals were to, I wanted, I was so busy with school and work, you know, because I always worked in college, that I didn't have enough time outside. So I wanted to like force myself to be outside uh, okay. somehow. And so walking to and from this treehouse was, you know, it's great because it's in the hill right above the school. And then I also wanted to save money so that I could do the art that I wanted to do. So okay. I saved money and huge forced myself to be outside and you know did a lot of sketching and. So we were talking about your your, your treehouse and I was curious like what was the setup? You you know you had to you were there for two years so you must have had you know cooking way to cook way to store foods. <laughs> <laughs> now it was it was pretty primitive. You know first no one could know about it so yeah. Or, you know, the first year and a half, you know, I just climbed up the tree. There's no ladder or anything. So you literally just just head away. It was a yeah. good climbing tree. So it, you... it wasn't though. That's the thing. <laughs> That's why I chose it. No one else could really climb up okay. it. It was a really wet winter. So and this moss started growing on the tree. So I remember like getting home from the library late at night after studying and like climbing up this tree in my raincoat and like falling back into the mud and just like finally getting up, crawling into my sleeping bag. And it's like. It, it was primitive. Um, I didn't have any like girlfriends living. Or anything. There's like no way. So this is literally like like the tree fort we all had as kids. Basically, no. It was kind of cooler than that. Uh, it, it, so I, I didn't want to hurt the tree at all. So I didn't yeah. put any nails in the tree. Okay. So instead, I, it was a hanging tree house. And there's these two beautiful branches um, that that kind of went off the side of it. And I and I hung these chains in between two of the branches. And then put these pipes on the on the chains. And then built on those pipes, and and so when the tree the tree could still move, and my treehouse would just kind of go up and down, and 
and that that was kind of neat. And, yeah. And the chains were the only thing that I bought for it. Like rock you to sleep at night. Some yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was always moving. And everything for the treehouse was the only things I bought for it were like climbing harness in case I fell when I was building it, and those chains. Everything else I like stole from these like tracked home developments. Borrowed. <laughs> no, I stole. <laughs> you know all these ugly, stupid tracked home developments. People building houses way bigger than they'd ever need. It just you know, just tearing up the whole area around San Luis. Um, I was really anti those developments and still am. I just don't have the energy for it anymore. But so, and part of part of me building that treehouse was kind of against all that crap that was happening. Um, so it's very small. Um, didn't hurt the tree. Um, and then, and then uh, for the. We, we built it out of, of, of two by fours, and then rather than like a typical roof, um, we used billboard siding because billboards are made on this really nice rubberized canvas, oh, and they're okay. very impervious to rain. Nice. Is that the right word? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we chose a couple of billboards of people I hated, um, and cut them down at night. And so the, the inside was decorated with a Thomas Kincaid painting. And I don't know if you're familiar with yeah, Thomas yeah. Kincaid. Yeah, the, the yeah. master of light. Yeah, the master, the master of light. So that was, you know, another, you know, benefit we gave to the county is cutting down a couple Thomas Kincaid billboards. Um, you're welcome, Flo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, Thomas. But, um, yeah, I had a little bit of food in there, but I, I, I would stash some like milk and cereal in the glass blowing studio. Like they had a refrigerator there. So okay. I always had a gallon of milk in yep. there and my Cheerios behind. Yep. And, you uh, could go to the gym, the campus gym, yeah, for yeah, take showers and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I was super clean back then. You know, my philosophy was if you're going to live like an alternative lifestyle, you got to be like the cleanest person in the room. Yeah. Um, and so I'd go running every morning, take a shower at the gym, get to school, study, you know, go to my job. And mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was primitive, but, it, you know, it was good. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a very, uh, and, and you said you're, so your buddy helped you and then he lived there at the same time? No, he never lived there. He okay. lived down He lived down the street um, and he had this thing that he called the bean commune, which was he always had a pot of beans on the stove and tortillas in the fridge. Anybody could go into his kitchen um, and build a burrito. Okay. And you put a dollar in the can. So all of these kind of kids, you know, there's like six of us started using the bean commune. You know, nice. About it now. Nice. Rice and beans. And Matt made it happen. And we're still, all the people that were a part of that are still very close today. That's awesome. Um, so that was a big part of being able to live in the treehouse. Like, I had this guy that would feed me you know, <laughs> right down the hill. And so did, did you do something for money, you know, at that time? Yeah, I was teaching classes okay. at, um, at the craft center. So I was okay. teaching stained glass and jewelry smithing. Oh, okay. And then I worked at the grounds crew, so I was like mowing lawns, and the, I nice. mowed the president's lawn, and okay. you know, cut his little flowers. <laughs> and I worked in the kitchen for a while, uh, washing dishes, lots of odd jobs. Yeah. Um, so That's yeah, cool. and then I finally left those to start my own, st or to a studio, a local glass blowing studio came up for sale. Okay. And it was like two thousand bucks to buy into a partnership, and so I bought into that and okay. kind of left all my other jobs. So. You mentioned before that that was something that you purposely live, were living that alternative. We got a squirrel uh, yeah, listening to us. That's sweet, baby. <laughs> um, that um, so that you could eventually save money to buy uh, the equipment or into uh, uh, existing business. Yeah, yeah, because uh, you know glass. But most glass floors rent. It's called blow time. Okay. Or you can rent for like back then it was twenty five bucks an hour. Now it's like. 70 bucks an hour okay. to, to, to be able to use the studio and make, make pieces. Okay. And so I knew blow time was expensive. Yeah. And you know, I'm working these minimum wage jobs and you have to work you know, three hours to get one hour blow time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I knew that once I could get blow, blow time and make pieces and sell them for enough money that it would, it would you know, work. <laughs> This is my buddy here. I knew his grandma. Oh, you see him? His grandma was a three-legged squirrel named Peggy. Really? Like Peggy. <laughs> and she's long gone, but her yeah, her grandson's around. <laughs> he's definitely uh, eager to see what's going Pe on. Peggy over here. would climb on me. This one. Really? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's not as. So so he's definitely familiar with you. Yeah. You see him? I feed him my peanuts. Okay. <laughs> he's just hungry. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. 
He had a brother named Black Balls. He was a total asshole. <laughs> but I think Black Balls died. So just, sweet, just sweet babies left. That's how I like it. Yeah, yeah. Usually the, the assholes that live and the <laughs> sweet ones die. There's some hope in the world. <laughs> Um, well, let, let's go in. Let's yeah, let's watch. go check it out. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Cool as a cucumber now. <laughs> Is it? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. 